2021 was a year of firsts for the Titans program. The first full year under head coach Sam Fisher and the first time for them in the state final four. This year will be one of first two with several graduates opening spots for players in the lineup and rotation. Now before the first game Wednesday against Ottawa Hills, they're focused on finding themselves and also reaffirming the new standard. I think that's the standard for this team in years moving forward, that winning the track, winning the, the league, moving on in this state tournament, that's the goal and that's the uh, expectation now every year. No pressure. I, I joke with people around the school and stuff, like if we don't make it to the Final Four after my second year, they're going to run me out of town or something. Really? No pressure. St. John's is ranked 20th in the preseason coaches poll, but that doesn't matter to them as much as you'd think. When we're, we're not focused on winning necessarily, we're just focused on competing, our group. Um, I always tell the guys we drink our own Kool-Aid and we're going to focus on that. Then I think winning happens. The culture cultivated under coach Sam Fisher carries over, although only half the lineup does. Stars from last year now playing college ball include Nick Pettit Worcester and Jacob Davis at Kalamazoo. Toledo commit J.P. Wagner moves to shortstop, and there's plenty of opportunity to be won for fresh faces. We're only returning four starters, but I'm not like thinking like, oh man, what are we gonna do? These, what I've seen so far is these guys are just filling in. It's just, they're stepping up. We have a large roster and we're gonna need every single person on it to contribute in every way they can. When opportunities arise, we need everyone to take advantage of those. Last year I had, I didn't know what I was gonna have as production wise. And then, you know, he had a big year from Andrew Pelock. Carson Toth had a huge year. So we're just hoping that these guys come and surprise some people. So who are they? Right now, a week of scrimmages before the opener is all about finding that out. Reese Majors is one of a kind kid. He'll be our number one on the mound this year. Very excited to see him build off last year. I think our catcher Caleb Click's going to play a big role behind the plate. Plays the defensive side of the ball really well. And offensively, he can really step into a huge role for us. Trey Lake is a returning guy. Trey Lake is one of the most talented guys we have around here. He plays loose, he plays relaxed. And then you got Braden McGroff, you know, coming coming off the football season. He was a leader there. Jacob Duque off the mound. I mean, he brings the velo and he brings the intensity that we need after losing Jacob Davis from last year. What can they do? We'll see. I already told this group, I think they can do just as much, if not more, but they have to set that. They have to establish who they are. Um, we as a staff can guide them, but they're going to do it. They're going to establish who they are, and then, and then we'll see what happens.